Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on what is happening out there in the tropics. So of course we'll be looking at what's currently going on as well as what is expected as we're going to be heading into the next several days. So some increased rainfall is likely across parts of the Caribbean and so we're going to be taking a look at all of that and uh, how much rainfall your area could potentially receive. And so I also want to say thank you to all of you who sent those kind messages. Uh, in the comments yesterday i'm definitely feeling a lot better today not completely better but a lot better so i want to thank you guys for that so before i go into the details with this video please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update Alright, and so going back to this satellite imagery here, we can definitely see that there isn't much happening across the Caribbean at the moment. We do see a bit of activity uh, over in parts of South America, of course, as well as Central America. We see that blob of convection of uh, Costa Rica, but for the rest of the region, there isn't really anything much going on right now. However, it is likely that we're going to be seeing a little bit of a change as we progress into the latter part of this week and also into next week. So we have our two major models, the GFS and Euro, being in agreement that we could possibly see quite an increase in rainfall activity especially across the northern caribbean so let's go ahead and take a look at the total accumulated precipitation that each model is expecting and we're going to start out with the euro but currently there is a storm system that is located off the southeastern coast of the u.s and uh some of the rainfall that the region is expected to receive will be as a result of that so let's see what the euro has to show so this is for tomorrow the 14th of march and we can see here that much isn't really expected across the caribbean but we do see all of those blue shades in association with that little storm system that i just showed you guys and so as we head to wednesday the middle of this week we can see here that uh, we're seeing more colors especially across the gulf of mexico and parts of the Yucatan and Cuba and also this is the 24 hour precipitation total so unlike what I usually show where it's the total rainfall for a particular period of time we're looking at the 24 hour total expected when we would see more of those blues or those purple shades for the overall precipitation expected within a few days if we see that for the 24 hour total it would mean that a lot more rainfall is likely within a very short amount of time so if you're not familiar with the colors there we have the key over to the right side of your screen where we range from green to blue to those purple shades to burgundy and orange and yellow so those are all uh, those different shades indicate different totals and the key is there to guide you with that now as you're going to be heading into thursday now the day after thursday of this week the 16th of march here we can see all of these totals across the northern caribbean and also for central america so we see some of those blue shades indicated maybe rainfall uh near an inch in total across cuba parts of hispaniola as well as jamaica and over into central america we see that most of these territories have more than maybe half an inch of rainfall however for the south eastern and eastern caribbean you guys are going to be in the clear because we're not really seeing any color over there so unfortunately for you guys up to that point uh much rainfall is unlikely now, as we're going to be heading into Friday, the end of this week, though, we can see that things are starting to clear up across the Caribbean. And we see that a lot of rainfall is likely for uh, Hispaniola. And as we head to Saturday, we can see that this sort of dissipates. However, take a look over uh, parts of the U.S. We see another storm system likely uh, within that area and that is going to be helping to induce a lot more rainfall for next week for parts of the Caribbean especially the northwestern part of the region so let's go ahead and go on to that go into Sunday you can see that we have that stream of activity through the Caribbean from that previous system there but there we have 
uh, a lot more rainfall in store. And then heading to Monday, we see quite an increase in rainfall expected for parts of the Northwestern Caribbean, uh, even for Florida as well. And then eventually, some of that is going to be drifting over into the vicinity of Jamaica. So that is what the Euro model is expecting here. So in all, here is the total accumulated precipitation uh, up to next week Tuesday for the euro model so in a week from now this is the amount of rainfall expected we can see that it is quite a bit maybe in excess of two or three inches for some areas across the Caribbean as I said for the southeastern part of the region uh, the Windward Islands Trinidad and Tobago Barbados and also the ABC Islands unfortunately for you guys much rainfall not really in store so this is really something for the Northern Caribbean. And so now we want to go ahead and look at what the GFS is forecasting. So starting out with tomorrow again, there we have uh, that rainfall activity in association with that storm system. And as we're going to be heading to Thursday, we can see here that there's definitely going to be rainfall, maybe around half an inch or so in total for the Northern Caribbean and also for parts of Central America. And then as we head to Saturday, there we can see that uh, we're gonna have that stream of activity through the Caribbean, similar to what the Euro is anticipating. And there we have that other system uh, making its way from the US. Going to Sunday, we can see that definite increase in rainfall activity across the Northwestern Caribbean. So similar story here, where the Southeastern Caribbean is not going to be receiving much much rainfall activity and then as for the GFS the total accumulated precipitation uh, between now and next Tuesday we can see here that most of that is expect is expected for the Northwestern Caribbean as well as Central America and little rainfall activity for the Southeastern Caribbean so both of the models the models are in agreement with that happening and so this is something that is especially going to be loved by the farmers because of course the dry time and crops those two don't go well together so crops do extremely well with enough moisture enough water in the soil so this is going to be a huge help I know that for sure once we have that definite increase in rainfall nothing to say a flood or anything of the sort but just an overall increase increase in rainfall activity is going to be very helpful guys so that is something that is on the horizon and these systems are going to be making their way through as fronts now uh, usually with cold fronts whenever they approach the Caribbean there is that shift in wind direction and there is also those rough seas that accompany them especially for the Atlantic coast of the northern Caribbean so uh, that is something else to be mindful of guys so please uh, stay safe it wouldn't be the ideal time to go out swimming once we have those rough seas out there so it is important to pay attention to your local weather uh, stations and heed the necessary warnings but of course guys that is pretty much it for this update video and if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise